Pliers, needle nose pliers. Oh, I thought you said I had a needle nose. <laughs> What's the problem, Ted? Hmm? Oh, it's her voice. But I think the problem is an intermodular distortion of the secondary harmonics in the half wave rectifier, which controls her speech synthesizer unit. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> okay, unplug Vicky. <clears throat> Turn around, Vicky. Okay, repeat after me. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> Dad, you turned her into a chipmunk. <laughs> I will never get this robot perfected. Well, of course you will. Honey, don't be so hard on yourself. You've invented something that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Dad, if Vicky was any more human, we'd need another bathroom. You know, the thing that intrigues me most is, if a robot is raised as a real child, will it eventually be able to program itself to act like a real child? I mean, even have emotions, huh? Oh, Ted, that would be fabulous. Well, who knows? Maybe one day families will adopt robots instead of having children. Come on, honey, don't take all the fun out of marriage. <laughs> At. If you don't already know, it's too soon to tell you. <laughs> oh, the coffee has just a bit more to drip. Speaking of drips, <laughs> our neighbor, Peeping Harriet, is at it again. <laughs> Honey, he's right. You know, we have to be very careful. If Harriet's father found out about Vicky, I could have a real problem. But do you think that Mr. Brindle would really give you trouble at the office? Does Elizabeth Taylor know the wedding march? <laughs> Honey, if Brindle, if Brindle knew about Vicky, he'd not only tell our boss, he'd probably try to steal the wafer scale integration system I invented that makes her work. I got a way to stop Harriet from snooping, but Mom won't let me try it. He wants to booby trap the driveway between our houses. Jamie. I liked it. It's not bad. Just watch out for our new car. Dad. Not home, Harriet. I want to show you something I got. I'm not interested in anything you've got. Jamie, open the door. Don't be rude. Oh, okay. Gee, Harriet, you've changed. <laughs> you look a lot better. <laughs> Isn't he neat? My fog got for me. Watch this. My name is Rodney. Pleased to meet you. Isn't that terrific? My name is Rodney. Pleased to meet you. It walks and talks like a real person. My name is Rodney. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Can I shut up like a real person? <laughs> Hi, Harriet. Well, what have we here? He's my robot. Watch. Come over to the table, Rodney. <laughs> Pour the cream in the cup, Rodney. Oh, 
that's wonderful, Harriet. <laughs> Does it also scrub floors? <laughs> I, uh, didn't think so. I bet you wish you had a robot like this. You kidding? I've got a robot that Jamie. can... Jamie! I mean, I've seen a robot that can do practically anything a real kid can do, except get pimples. <laughs> Jamie, your uh, father needs you in the living room. Hop to it. Will I see you later, Jamie? Yeah, when I get home from college. <laughs> I like him. He's got spunk. I may even marry him someday. <laughs> well, I wouldn't tell him just yet. Mrs. Lawson, hmm? do you know what happened at my house today? No, what happened? The electricity went out. And we don't have any heat or cooking or anything. Oh, that's awful. My father was digging up a tree stump, and he dug a bar like Trizzy instead. <laughs> mm. Hello there. Oh, hi, hi Mrs. Brindle. <laughs> oh, you must call me Bonnie. Bonnie. It means pretty in Scottish. <laughs> Come on, Rodney. My name is Rodney. Pleased to meet you. My name is Rodney. Pleased to meet you. My name is Rodney. Pleased to meet you. Damn stupid robot. Oh, did you hear about our electricity? Not a single light in the house. Oh, it must be terribly inconvenient. Do you mind if I put this milk and butter in your fridge? Thanks. Help yourself. <laughs> and you just try and get an electrician to come out and miss his football. Ooh, lots of leftovers. Things not going well for your husband? No, he's doing very well, thank you. And they're not leftovers. We call them reruns. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, imagine no heat, no electricity, no hot water. Is that the aroma of fresh perk coffee I smell? Mm, I certainly do miss my morning coffee. Well, if you'd care for a cup, I'd be happy to. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to impose. But I could use some hot water for Mr. Brindle's coffee. Oh, well, sure. Well, I'll heat some up and I'll bring it oh, on over. No, 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 no. I'll take care of it. Of course, it'll have to be instant. <laughs> My, that coffee does smell good. Well, why don't you just take this pot? Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to deprive you folks. Yeah. No, but if you insist. <laughs> Now, by the way, um, Harriet was telling me about this little girl that's staying with you. Now, she's your niece, is she? Vicky. Yes, that's yeah. right. Oh. Well, Harriet says she's kind of strange, not very friendly. Oh, no. Uh, she's just very uh, shy. Brought up on a farm. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, you should see how friendly she is with cows. <laughs> Could somebody give me a hand with this stuff? Hi, Brandon. Let me. Well, I finally found an electrician. Oh, goody, Brandon. No, he won't come. He's home waiting for a plumber. <laughs> so I thought I'd better get the rest of this stuff over before it spoils. You know, I'm not sure there's room in the refrigerator for all of this. Oh. Don't you worry your pretty little head. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll make room. <laughs> uh, well, Mother, you've been over here so long, I thought you were invited for breakfast. Hint, hint. Oh. <laughs> Warm, too. I hope our food won't spoil. Well, look, this doesn't need to be uh, refrigerated. No, not this. No, this doesn't either. Uh, take this. Yeah. Pickles you can keep in the cupboard. Well, honey, I finally got Vicky's voice fixed, and I didn't know we had company. Hi there. Hi. Oh, so this is Vicky. What's the matter with her voice? Well, she's uh, got a little uh, laryngitis. Uh, oh. uh, Jamie, uh, take Vicky to her room so she can gargle. Sure, Dad. Wait. <laughs> We'd love to meet her. Oh, uh, sure, sure. Uh, uh, Vicky, say hello to Mr. and Mrs. Brindle. Hello to Mr. and Mrs. Brindle. <laughs> Harriet's right. She does talk funny. Yeah. Oh, it's the local dialect of her area. Oh. What area? The mountains. <laughs> but you said she was brought up on a farm. Right. Uh, the farm's on the side of a mountain. <laughs> Whose little girl is she? Yeah, her brothers. sister's. <laughs> They're twins, and it gets so confusing. <laughs> uh, Jamie, take Vicky to her room, please. Right. 
Come on, Vicky. Time to gargle. The word gargle is not in my memory bank, but I do have a Google. <laughs> Google? Now, what's a Google? Google is the number one followed by 100 zeros. <sighs> <laughs> Is she precocious or what, huh? Stop showing off, Vicky. Let's go. Let's go. Strange child. Mother, I'm afraid it's a cold supper for us tonight. Oh, we can always send out for pizza. My favorite dinner, pizza in the dark. Oh, uh, if I could borrow a couple of candles, if it isn't too much trouble. Oh, of course you can. We can always heat the pizza with it. What's going on? Uh, their electricity's out. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what you're thinking, and I won't hear of it. What was I thinking? You were thinking of inviting us to dinner. Oh. No, Brandon and I have imposed far too much. Well, absolutely, even though I love prime rib. Prime rib? I saw it in the refrigerator. Uh, actually, that's for tomorrow night. Oh, well, we couldn't come two nights in a row. Mother's right. <laughs> we'll come tonight, but that's it. What time? Well, we usually eat at 6.30. Well, we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, if you want to use any of our food, go right ahead. You can always pay us back. Oh, we can still use these. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, I can't believe how we got into this. Any suggestions? Well, can we pack and move before dinner time? <laughs> Fork on left, knife and spoon on right. Jamie! Yes, Mom? Are you setting the table? The brindles are going to be here any minute. It's under control, Mom! Vicky, will you, will you speed it up? Speed it up. <laughs> Fantastic! Love that robot. <laughs> Love that robot. Hey, thanks for helping your mom, Jamie. <clears throat> Anytime, Dad. No sweat. Oh, unfortunately, honey, you used the wrong silverware. I'm afraid you'll have to do it over again. Do it over. <laughs> do it over. You had Vicky set the table. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with it is that I asked you to do it. You shouldn't take advantage of a little girl. Joni, honey. You've got to stop thinking of her as a real child. She's an android, a voice input child identicant, huh? Vicky, put the silverware down. <laughs> I meant on the table. Now you tell me. <laughs> Jamie, help her pick it up. Okay, Mom. Ted, I'm sorry about tonight. But I just couldn't think of a way of saying no to the Brindles coming to dinner, short of insulting them. Honey, honey, there's no way you can insult them. His skin's too thick, and she doesn't stop gabbing long enough to be insulted. It's all picked up, Mom. Thanks, honey. Oh, there's the Brindles. OK, Jamie, put Vicky in her cabinet. Put Vicky in her cabinet. Put Vicky in her cabinet. That's what you always say. <laughs> Look, no back talk from a robot, you're non-union, huh? <laughs> Go to your cabinet. <clears throat> Come on, before he puts you over his knee and whacks your software. <laughs> Yoo -hoo! Yoo -hoo! Yoo -hoo! <laughs> Hi there! Oh! Looks like we've got an extra guest for dinner. Happily one that doesn't eat. <laughs> well, to make up for it, we'll take home a doggy bag. Oh, Brandon, you are such a card. I tell you, it's just like living with Bill Cosby. <laughs> I'll bet. Where's Vicky? I want to show her Rodney. Uh, oh, well, uh, well, uh, her laryngitis got a little worse, Harriet, so uh, we, we had to put her to bed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry she isn't feeling well. How long will she be staying with y'all? A, a few, few months. months. <laughs> uh, she has to get back to the farm in time for the harvest. 
Hey, hey, I haven't offered you folks anything. What kind of host am I, huh? Cheap, but we're hoping you'll improve. <laughs> he is hot tonight, I'll tell you. Yeah. Daddy, look at all this. Wow. Look at all this electronic stuff. You working on something secret at home, Ted, or stealing from the office? <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's, it's just some, some cheap things I, I, I picked up to tinker with. <laughs> uh, Ted just loves to tinker. Sometimes we do it together. <laughs> Not us. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hi. Jamie, Jamie, uh, Vicky, okay? Vicky, okay? Yeah, she's okay, Dad. Good. Can I go in and say hello to her? We wouldn't want exposure to her germs. Would it help if I put a handkerchief over my face? Might help your face. <laughs> Harriet, why don't you show them how your robot works? She showed us this afternoon. Pick it up, Rodney. Uh, oh, 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 watch this. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Watch you this. Can do it. Oh. How about that sportsman? Oh, that's just great. Big okay. deal. So it's got a magnet in its hand. Can I use the bathroom? Well, of course, dear. It's down the street at the gas station. Just ask for the key. <laughs> Jamie, would you show where it is, please? Okay. Here it is. Is that where Vicky sleeps? Yeah. Well? Well what? Well, I'm going to the bathroom. Shouldn't you wait till you get inside? <laughs> I mean, I don't need any company standing out here. I'm not company. I live here. <laughs> Sometimes you are totally gross most of the time. I'd like a little privacy. Oh, okay. Hey! trick. You didn't have to go to the bathroom. So I changed my mind. You should have changed it for a better one. <laughs> Where's Vicky? She's not here. I can see that. Where is she? Well, if she's not here, she must be somewhere else. <laughs> Are you trying to hide something? Yeah, me from you. Let's go. Is this where Vicky keeps her clothes? Yes. Let's go. I want to see them. No! <gasps> Vicky! What's she doing in there? Uh... We were playing hide-and-seek. And I guess I forgot to tell her the game was over. Right, Vicky? <laughs> right, Vicky. <laughs> you better get in bed. Better get in bed. Wait a minute. Let's go in the living room and play with your robot. Let's go in the living room and play with your robot. <coughs> Mother, Vicky doesn't look very sick to me. How did she see Vicky? She ran into the room before I could stop her. She was standing in the cabinet with the door closed. In a cabinet? <laughs> well, that's so easy to explain, isn't it, dear? Yes. You go right ahead, honey. Uh. Go in the living room and play with your robot. Vicky. Well, she seems to be feeling better. Feeling better. Oh, isn't that nice? Mm. Now you can eat with us, Vicky. I don't eat. <laughs> she means not when she's not feeling well. Uh, right, right. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think we better go take your temperature. Let's go, Vicky. Let's go, Vicky. No, wait, Vicky. Look what he can do. Tim, she's sicker than we thought. Yeah. Oh, we better call the doctor. You know, even before you folks came over, I was thinking maybe we better call this dinner off. Remember what I said? Yeah. You said there's no way you can insult the Brindles. <laughs> His skin's too thick, and she doesn't stop gabbing long enough to be insulted. That's what you said, Lawson? I can't believe my ears. It's not quite like it sounds. Oh, let's go, Brandon. Right after dinner. No, now! <laughs> we'll never use your refrigerator. 
refrigerator again. Come, Harriet. Come on, Rodney. My name is Rodney. Pleased to meet you. My name is Rodney. Pleased to meet you. My name is... Oh, shut up, you stupid robot. Uh, listen, we're, we're really sorry. I have never been so insulted in my life. But I think you have, Brandon. No, no, no. Well, I hate to insult the Brendels, but uh, let's look at the bright side. If they keep their word, we won't have to worry about them snooping around here anymore. <laughs> uh, thanks to Vicky. Yeah, you're fantastic compared to that dumb Rodney. Rodney is cute. He turns me on. <laughs> Of 